my name is Tzatzaklalas. I am from the Amam Tegila people. I'm a great grandmother. My name is Dakota Smith and I come from the uh, Ambers family. The abandonment of our villages came from amalgamations that were forced on our people and it's because the population was so low uh, because of smallpox. My dream is to have a village once more. What we're doing here right now is building that place. A tourist can go out on a boat and go visit the territory and that, but our people don't have access to even go into our abandoned villages. One of the dreams that we have is to buy a boat and I'd like the boat to be utilized by people that are wanting to move home. It's so important to have a space to go home to when you're dealing with the effects of colonization, intergenerational trauma from uh, residential schools, the suicide epidemics, creating a space for our people to come home to. It, it's more than just a place to live or a place to live traditionally. It's a place of healing. Places like this can save our people. I asked for our house to be built in our Tutsi style. The uh, outer part is all cedar paneling, and of course it'll have the seagull on it. Maybe a two-spirit building. It actually wasn't until I was with so many at the ledge in that that I finally had to look at myself and acknowledge that I was two-spirited too. It's something I denied myself all my life. And we should not have to live like that. The two-spirited people from our culture were held up high. Whenever Indigenous people stand up and uh, reclaim our own space just to exist, it's considered a threat to industry. It's a threat to business as usual. They know that we have title to the land. I've already been fighting fish farms. Last year, our elders their quota of fish was one fish per elder, and that was it. We also have to think about the larger impacts that logging has on the environment. It's causing flooding, it's causing landslides. There's nothing to hold the trees or the land back anymore. Our people couldn't even find a tree long enough to put the beam in our big house. It's getting harder and harder for people to find trees that would be suitable to make a canoe. So it affects a lot of aspects in our lives. Uh, elected chief has taken our name right off the registry. This man is also the one that allowed our territory to be auctioned off and clear cut. He is also the one that has given permission to have three fish farms in front of Montegila territory. How much of the farm expansion are you willing to approve without the membership's consent and with no consultation? Tell me that. So the Montegila people don't exist in that world, but when you go into our Tutsi, which is our house of laws, the Montegila chief sits with all the other chiefs. In 2005, my grandfather, Basil Ambers, held a feast at Eve River rest stop and declared to Montegila independence. There was around 60 chiefs who came to that feast. They're still taking our land. They're still taking what is ours and what belongs to our children. We're taught to look seven generations ahead. And that's a, a really, really big responsibility we have to the earth, to our future generations, and to the ancestors.